you want? So we got all the wiring pulled out of the engine bay and just check out how much wires are here. Everything is cracked. That is it's all right here. Everything is just crushed. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be back to work on our McLaren 720S. As you guys seen in the previous video, we did get our new tub right here and we did a little bit of repairs in the front and everything turned out amazing up there. It is ready to go. And what I wanna start doing in today's video is basically start swapping everything over. It's gonna be a really slow, meticulous process because we don't wanna make, we wanna make sure we put everything from this car onto here. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna start off with probably taking apart to take this door off and then take this dashboard out so we can get all this wiring out of here. Cause I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna be the first thing we're gonna need to put in this car is the wiring and then everything that goes on top. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove this door right here. And there actually is a little bit of damage. As you can see right here, it got hit a little bit and there's a little chip missing out of there. And this is all just fiberglass, which kind of sucks. I mean, you would think the $300,000 car would have carbon fiber doors or something like that, but it is just fiberglass, but it should be pretty easy to fix. And I'm pretty sure it's easy to re uh, remove. It's just a couple bolts down there. And then we have a, another hinge up top, which is pretty cool. We got two hinges, one right here and one down there. And we do have a broken glass inside here. That's why you hear all the marks. So let's go ahead and grab some tools and get this thing off. Get this door off. We're actually gonna have to remove this uh, fender liner right here because this hinge bolts on from the bottom and it's just a couple bolts right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off. And like, we are. So we got one of these fender liners off and it is all forged carbon and check that out. It literally just broke one of the mounting points completely out of the tub. But now that we have this piece off, we have access to this bolt right here. And then there's just another bolt. So there's two 13 bolts right there and then a Allen head up there. So we can go ahead and get this door off. So we got this door off and man, this thing weighs a lot. I didn't think it would weigh that much, but we got it off and we didn't notice any other damage underneath or anything over there. So that's a really good sign. Now let's go ahead and dive back in there and start taking all that apart. So we got the door off and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and when you remove these seats, we just set them back in there just so they wouldn't get damaged or anything like that. And then we can go ahead and start pulling this dashboard apart. I'm not too sure even where to start or how this thing comes apart, but usually it's the same on every car. You simply just start taking off like these upper pieces and then you'll start seeing bolts. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see if we can get this thing out today. So we're about to start taking apart this interior of this car, but I completely forgot to mention the company that actually brought us this tub for the McLaren. We had it on a couple websites. We couldn't get nobody to ship it, but we found this one company called Your Way Express. They hooked it up, they got it delivered pretty quick. I'll drop all the details down below. So if you guys need anything shipped, hit them up and they'll give you a good quote. So the first thing we're gonna do is pretty much just like on any other car, start with the center console and just move our way forward. And I think it should be a pretty straightforward process. Holy crap. Ah. 
Oh, see, that one came out. Okay. See, no broken clips, guys. It just is really yeah. tough on there. Side right here? Mm -mm. Now look, you can't, that ain't gonna come out. Cause look, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. We're gonna tap. All good. All good and complete. No broken stuff here. Hey, look in the back, make sure there's no bolts. There's no possible for there to be. So we've gotten a lot of stuff off and so far we're having a little bit of trouble getting this uh, bezel off right here and everything is just on these super strong clips so it seems like it's bolted on but really it just pops off and it, it's pretty weird but we're trying we're having a little bit of problems trying to get this piece off right here and there was two clips right here we kind of popped it off and popped it off and something's still not letting go so we might have to dig deeper over here. Еще говорил Веня, but it's a freaking clip. You do? See, it's all just clips. It's really hard to come out, but it's just not clips. So we got this little bezel off right here, and surprisingly, we didn't break anything on it. These clips are just really tough and they, they take a lot of force to pull out. I was literally pulling it with all my force and it still wouldn't come out. So we had to stick a screwdriver back there and pry it out. But we got this off and now we just need to get the screen off. And I think we can go ahead and get this entire center console out.
So we got the center console out, and man, that was the biggest pain in the butt ever. There's about a thousand screws just holding on the center console, and now we gotta just start taking apart the actual dashboard. I'm thinking we're gonna go from the bottom when you get this airbag out, and then there's another airbag down here, and then pretty much all this stuff right here, and once we get all that unscrewed, we can probably just pull it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a screw here. That's why it's so flimsy. Is that why the speaker is so flimsy? Yep. Uh, yeah, it was put together on Friday. This is the one that holds this extra speaker. That's why, that's why. It was oh, there. that's what this is. I was like, where did this, where did the screw come from? This is the one that was, uh, that's supposed to hold the. Yeah, I'm guessing. Wait, did they, they fly off or something? Yeah. They, they just fell out. Yeah. That's that, it's supposed to hold the speaker to this. So the duck. just chilling. They're just chilling. It, it, I guess it just came out because it's, uh, I, it probably was in tight and it just shook loose. I mean, these two were, this one was already backing out. Like, Pretty good backing out. Oh, never mind. No, it's not slotted. Um, I thought it was slotted and it oh, slid okay. it on and then I had to tighten it. I mean, just that would be. It a, just was just forgetting be. to come back. Uh, well, uh, I think there's just probably no way this. I, mean, what, I think that's the problem. Can't you find? Don't, don't the people who work on the cars like mark who the work on it and stuff like that? Like, and uh, then, yeah, if they're hand built. Yeah, there should be a. We gotta find who who, who was working on this car. Give them a call. At least, at least they're smart enough to do like color coordination. You know? You forgot you're working with a certified McLaren mechanic, man. Certified. Y'all, y'all hearing this? Certified. Certified. This is certified auto repair. Yeah. Please. Yeah, but you know, we just left out the McLaren part, you know, because. You know, Quiet over here. I'm trying to unscrew something, and I'm getting berated with questions. You don't just go into a library and you start screaming, though, do you? So check this out, guys. Me and Paul are just taking this everything apart on this car. There's so much different brackets and all kinds of stuff in here. But I think we're almost ready to get the dashboard out. Hopefully, it comes out in one piece. There's two 10 millimeter bolts right here, and I'm pretty sure the heater core is gonna stay down there. There's a couple hex bolts on there. So let's get these unbolted, and hopefully this thing will just slide right out. Something's holding it, bro, in the center. Well, because they probably put it, maybe. You want a bat, Paul? You have to be able to get that from the other side. Oh, no, 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 no. I got something on my side. Of it. Stay right there. Oh, my. oh, man. Massive harness. Okay, that's not a big deal, though. It comes off. There's a lot. Hold on, hold on. I mean, yeah, I think that's going to be the only option is just unplug them. Before you make a rash decision. This is not a rash decision, bro. This is what needs to be done. Okay. Wait, can you pull the fuse box out? Uh, I guess one more. I'll bring her back. Ah, what'd you do that for? Alright, we're good. Alright, let's take it out that way. Alright, come on. He can't handle it by himself. No, no. I can't. Two minute job right here. I don't have any 
place it right into the new one. So guys, check this out. We got the entire dashboard out. And if you guys thought the carbon damage over here was bad, look at this over here. We have cracks basically going everywhere. We have a crack right here on this brake pedal. And then if you look over here, everything is cracked. That is crazy, man. We got so freaking lucky with that tub right there because if we didn't get that tub, this tub right here is pretty much done. There's no salvaging it. There's just so much cracks everywhere. And who knows, once we get this carpet off, we might even find some more damage. And like, even this thing right here is just destroyed. I'm guessing this thing, when it got into that accident, it just crushed everything. And carbon fiber usually likes to come back into its position. That's why it didn't really look so bad from the outside. But let's go ahead and get this carpet out and probably remove some more of this stuff down here. Yeah, this is the air blowing system, not the turbo system. Come on. Come on, guys. I'm sorry to say the dude behind the camera, he's just not a car person. He usually plays computer games all day. I'm going to pull out the engine. Y'all hear me? Next week, we're doing all the easy light work here, and then we're going to go to the engine. That's going to be the tough part. Yep. I got anxiety just thinking about it back there. Heaps has kept my hair on so, so far, so we're good. He was picking up the car. He said, I said, how's the car? He said, oh, it ain't that bad. <laughs> every time every time he says when something ain't that bad, I already know it's very terrible. Nah, it ain't that bad. Well, we Look, why, why? Why use different size screws? A 8mm and a 7mm on one bracket. You have to have six different impacts, you know? <laughs> Starting from... Just have them all uh, with different All the ones different ones ready. because you're going to be swapping sockets. Hey, what is right. this? Is this... That's a, that was a ground. I, don't you worry about this, Bella. I got it. I'm not worried about the way he works. I told you, you said te tear it apart, I'm tearing it apart. It's a seven, dude. Why'd you put an eight on there? I asked you what it was. You said it was a, it was a eight. Yeah, you done lost money. Dude, that's a really piss poor part. Look, 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 look how they look did at that. that. That is terrible. Oh my god. It's like working on a geo prison. Oh my, they blew everything on like freaking halfway. The quality on a Geo Prism is perfect. McLaren's gonna hate us. They're gonna be like, no, what the heck is this? Like, did someone at the factory cut this with a razor knife? <laughs> Literally. Look at that. Look at that work. It was an afterthought. It was one of those things like, oh shoot, we didn't wrap the footrest. You got any leftover carpet? Can you carpet? stick it on there real quick? You got, you got any leftover carpet? <laughs> yeah. No, dream catcher. Yeah, dream catcher. Yeah, and then all, all he does is he uploads his favorite cars in there. Damn. Dang, son. Okay. I gotta say, that's probably the smartest thing on this car. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Did they leave that one in that car or they take it out? No, they took it out. That's why it's all wet. And one time the car got soaked at Sam Crack's house. Yeah. Oh, it's flood damage too. Damn. Damn, what did you buy, man? So we got everything out of the interior, went ahead and pulled out the carpet. And man, there's even more cracks right here, which I never even seen that was under the carpet. So yeah, pretty much this tub was completely trashed. And now what we need to do is start removing all this wiring. I think all it needs to do is just slide through these little holes right here and then pull everything forward. And then we can't actually get the entire harness off because this harness goes all the way back and I'm guessing it goes into the engine bay. So we're gonna have to take that off later. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab all these wires and pull them all through. I'm not, I'm just, I'm in the with it, bro. Let me pull this one home. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Let it zip on through. Oh, 
pop some tabs off. Hey, I, I'm working in here. I hope you're working out there. How about that? Oh, hold on, hold on. So we got all the wiring pulled out of the engine bay and just check out how much wire is there here. This is what it takes to run a supercar, which is insane. I don't even know how we're gonna put everything back together, but I think we, we got it. And the worst thing about it is we can't go ahead and start putting this wiring harness back into the new car because we are gonna have to take the engine out before we do that because all this wiring goes completely in the back. I was hoping maybe they would have just put it on these fuse boxes, but it turns out that's not the case. And we did get pretty lucky on that tub because as you can see, our entire HVAC unit was just completely crushed and it is kind of leaking right there. And the cool thing is our new tub came with all that because check out the damage is all right here. Everything is just crushed. And the cool thing about carbon fiber or the crazy thing about it is when it gets crushed, it actually comes back. So I'm guessing all this whole area was probably pushed over a lot and this car is not square at all. So we did remove most of the stuff up here also. We got the rest of this uh, front HVAC unit off. As you guys know, it was completely broken into pieces. And we also took off the brake booster, the brake pedal, and all that stuff's gonna be really easy to just swap over there. And also the cool thing about that tub is they did leave us a lot of lines, so we're not really gonna have to transfer any of them over so we can just use the original ones over there. And we also have a couple of brake lines because as you guys know, we have a couple of brake lines bent or ripped off right here. This one just cut completely off. And we're gonna kind of take a little stopping point right here because we are still waiting on our front subframe to come in. So then once we get our subframe, we can just easily swap all this over and all this stuff just bolts completely onto that subframe. So check this out guys. I remember when we first got this car, I was like, maybe, maybe we could possibly fix this tub. But after taking a better look at it, you can just see this right here is actually supposed to be straight, but I'm guessing there's so much tension still on the carbon fiber that everything's just like still crunched together and it just completely cracked everything through there. So I think that was the, probably the smartest thing I've ever done was buy that tub and just surprising thing that, that it came up for freaking bids and we won that thing. And here's a dash right here. We actually took it out a little bit back and we took a good look at it and everything looks good. There's no damage in the back over here. As you can see, I was kind of worried about this right here because when I was spinning the wheel, it was like kind of catching, but it turns out that was just how the, uh, the, the rack and pinion was kind of sagging. So it was kind of making some noise, but it turns out there's no cracks or anything back here, which is really good because all this stuff is super expensive as you guys know, but it turns out we got super lucky on this dash. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how are we ever gonna get this thing back together? Well, the cool thing is everything is recorded on camera. So we can basically just go back and watch exactly what you guys are watching and we'll know exactly where everything goes. But everything is pretty self-explanatory once you get all the wires in here and then they, they usually go to a certain area there'll be little clip holes and i think we'll be able to get this thing back together pretty quick so if you guys are wondering about all the parts we do have everything wrapped up right here we're also gonna have to just put it all somewhere safe because we gotta be super careful with this car we need to get this thing done and we don't want to be buying like these small brackets right here they're gonna be super hard to find or even order or buy anywhere. So we're gonna have to keep all those things safe. So guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got a lot of work done on this McLaren. We basically ripped apart the entire front end, which was not really too easy, especially with all the interior pieces. Everything was pretty complicated, but we got everything out and it's almost ready to go back in that car. But in the next episode, we are gonna have to start ripping apart the back. That means ripping the quarter panels off, taking the entire engine out of this car, which is gonna be super insane. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another episode. So before we end things off, we are giving away another McLaren 720S plaque. Check this thing out. The last one we gave away was actually just metal, but I just went ahead and gave this thing a nice paint job and it looks absolutely killer. All you have to do is follow us on Instagram, drop a comment on the latest post and drop a like and you're entered to win that thing. With all that being said, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you wanna cop some merch, head over to vtune.com, get your little hoodie, cause I know it's getting a little cold outside right now. Peace.